Hello and welcome to this exercise on circles and tangents and radios. I think this is the fourth in my in, in this series. And effective we'll be given an equation of a circle and I've drawn the circle there. Now this is the equation and we are told that a tangent passes through the point uh, 5 minus 2 there and the tangent means the circle at the point T and that's what we got there so what I've done here is to rewrite this equation in the format uh, x to that plus y squared plus 2 into 1 ta x plus 2 into minus 3 over 2 y now if you examine carefully this is the same as this one here and where the difference at all and that is the same as minus 3 now I've done this because I wanted to write the or rewrite the equation in the general format for the equation of a circle, which I've got there. So G is 1 and F is minus 3 over 2. Which then means that minus G is equal to minus 1. And the X coordinate of the center of the circle is minus 1. Similarly, the Y coordinate for the center the y coordinate of the center of the circle is 3 over 2. Now, pt squared, so sorry, uh, pt squared is this here. Now, the bit in brown here is the value of pc squared, or the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle we've got. So that bit is pc squared, That's what we've got there. And this bit here is the radius squared. Okay, that's the radius squared there. And that's what we got there. So now, if we now expand this bracket there, all these brackets here, we end up with uh, pt squared as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. Now, the capital X there is the s coordinate of the point P. And the capital Y is the Y coordinate of the point P. So we end up we end up with PT squared being uh, 45. Okay. Now don't forget this is one here, and that's minus three over two, which is what we got there. So that's F there. So uh, then PT is now the square root of PT squared, and that's equal to uh, three root five. Now, as we said earlier, now this bit here is the radius of the circle. So CT is now the square root of that there. And then if we then substitute the values of G and F into this equation, we end up with 1 squared plus minus 3 over 2 squared minus 0. Now, 1 squared is 1, minus 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. So we can rewrite 1 squared as 4 over 4. So 4 over 4 plus 9 over 4 is 13 over 4. So, which is what got there. So CT is now the square root of 13 over 4, which is a half root 13. I hope all that made some sense. Uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you again sometime. Bye-bye now.